my queens so for today let's go back a bit um i have my really bright light on which is why i look super illuminated i usually try not to use it and that's only because i have stigmatism and the light like burns my eyes i feel like i'm looking into the sun so i try not to use it but let's go ahead and get into this real fast this is going to be a challenge video this is going to be to use one beauty blender for my entire fugly looking face so we're gonna use one beauty blender so let's get right into it first i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face i'm gonna go with the wet and wild photo focus this is the one from their uh their flights of Fa uh flights of fancy collection now if i kind of move this way it's just because i have my stuff right here let me actually move it to the front of me so i'm going with my foundation and I am going to go in with the Voila Beauty Foundation. And we're just going to throw that on the Beauty Blender. Now this is probably going to be a crazy look because the makeup's going to set in. And I'm going to end up with like a mix of um, all the colors. And it's probably going to look very muddy at the end. But hey, why not? It's nice to give yourself a challenge. Yeah, no, I really, really did not want to use um, my bright light. It's just because it's so bright and it's actually like really damn hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this part and speed it up a bit. All right, I actually I zoomed you all in a little bit more just because you were so far away. But we're done with that. So I'm going to go ahead now and apply my concealer by Tarte. I actually don't like, um, oh, almost messed up. I actually don't like to apply my foundation with a beauty blender. And that's only because I feel like I'm wasting product. I use beauty blenders when I have to blend out something that didn't blend too well with the brushes. But for me to use it for my foundation, I actually don't like it. Uh, the one that I do use, I use an oval brush, and if not that, then I use a silicone beauty blender because it doesn't suck up product, and it distributes it like a little goes a long way. So I actually don't like beauty blenders for my foundation. So fun fact right there. Okay, so there we go. That is on. So now we're gonna quickly. I don't have any more powder, my LA Girl Cosmetics powder. So I'm gonna jump into my black opal and use their um, invisible oil blocking powder. I'm just gonna rub my beauty blender in there like that. I really wonder how this is gonna turn out just because I can already tell that it's gonna just like mud in together the colors. So it should be interesting. And um, by the way, when I say full face beauty blender, I do mean like um, eyebrows, eyeshadow, everything with just a beauty blender. So that's going to be a very interesting thing. So now that that part is done, I'm going to go into my contour. I'm going to leave the difficult things for last. So we're going to go into the contour and I'm going to use my Smashbox one right here. This one has a mirror, which is cool. So I'm just going to put that in and then kind of drag it like this on the nose. Well, the nose one, because I'm using a big beauty blender, it's actually kind of looks a little messy. And it is, this contour is powder. The cream one that I had, I ran out of it. So I know I'm dragging the Beauty Blender, which you're not really supposed to do, but I gotta kinda blend it some way. So we'll kinda put that in there. I feel like cream contour would have been a lot easier <laughs> than powder. But, oh well. So, okay. I think that's the best that I can do right now. And because my beauty blender was damp. Um, oh, look, see? 
and I'm going in with a bunch of other products. The dampness isn't there like it was before. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But then I'm going to, oh, I just hit myself. I'm going to go in with my bronzer. Like I said, I'm doing all of the hard things last. This is my Lorac, uh, Lorac bronzer in Sundays. So I'm going to go in with this end and just swirl it in there. And then, oh my god, I think I got way too much. I'm gonna just kind of try and be uh, subtle, but I'm not looking subtle. So now I'm gonna just kind of drag the blender, which I know I shouldn't be doing, but I kind of have to blend it somehow. Look at that, so freaking harsh. Ugh. Talk, I look very Sundays, all right. All right, it's kind of. I'm gonna actually drag it down here, and then drag it down a little bit, just like how I sometimes bring bronzer down. But right now, because there's so much on the beauty blender, I look muddy. See how that looks? It's just the colors, the browns, the foundation. It's just kind of starting to like kind of mix in a bit oh oh my god I mean okay we're gonna just pretend that didn't happen and I'm actually gonna go back in with the powder just to try and tone down a bit of the harshness of the bronzer just kind of pat it on there very lightly See, kind of helped a bit, but it's still super duper harsh, like very harsh, like what the shit harsh. Now that I've did that, I'm gonna tell you, I'm doing the base first. So we're gonna go in with blush, and I'm gonna go in with the light shade. Back in with the bottom half. Um, this time I'm not gonna swirl it. I'm just gonna dab it in there, and. I'm going to try and be subtle as best as possible I possibly can. I'm sorry, I'm like cutting off. It's just I'm tall. <laughs> I'm 5'11. Going on seven foot. Okay. So okay, the blush wasn't bad. The blush did not do a bad job. I could live with the blush. The bronzer, fudge no. Now I'm going to go with a highlight. Now I'm going to go with my Maybelline Master Chrome. Oops. I'm going to go in with a small corner. Just like that. And then I'm going to kind of just try and be as light as I can with my highlight. Actually, if I have a lot of highlight, I kind of don't care. Because even, I'm just kind of, I am I don't want to drag the blender, but I'm kind of having to just drag it a little bit. Um, okay, right here. Okay. Okay. So far, um, we're okay. Uh, now that that actually is the base, that's the quickest base. Now we're going to do the brows. Um... For the brow, I'm gonna do powder. So I'm going with my Black Opal Brow Shaper Kit. If I could open it. And there we go, the Black Opal Brow Shaper Kit. And boom, there's the product. So I'm gonna put just on the tip, just kind of swirl it in like that. And I'm just gonna try and look at that. I already fudged up. Okay. Just kind of drag it in. I might have very thick brows for this video. I'm gonna look like Groucho marks. So I'm even trying to like raise my eyebrows, like really, like really raise them. Like I'm surprised to see myself. So I can try and get it as best as possible. Okay. And 
Okay, so the brows aren't bad. I'm kind of keeping it subtle. Um, gonna have to go in with a little more right here for this one. Kind of right there. And in the front of this one, and in the front of that one. Okay, so they're gonna be dark, but... Oh well, I'm trying to like rub off some. But yeah, the product's like already in the blender. All right, so then after that, we are gonna go in with the eyeballs. I'm like so unblended up here, it's not even funny. For the eyes, I'm gonna, we're gonna go bold, we're gonna do color. I'm not gonna do no nudes. We're gonna go in with the Aftershock palette by Bad Happy Beauty. That is what this looks like right, oh shit. That's what that looks like right there. Boom. So, I already have concealer. Now, we're going to just try and be as nice as possible. So, I'm going to go in with the pink shade right here, Sensation. And the bad thing is there's brow powder on it. So, this might... It's going to be really difficult to blend. Um, especially because it's a big beauty blender. Um... And I, I'm having a hard time. I'm already like, okay, we're not doing too bad, but I've looked better. Um, I'm kind of trying to use it as like uh, a brush. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom you in a little closer to my eyeballs so you can see what's going on. All right, so y'all are up close now, um, right there, as you can see. So it's very pigmented. Uh, it's just kind of hard to get it like up here and not look completely messy, but it's looking a bit messy. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to kind of use the beauty blender like a brush, but ugh, it's kind of difficult. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of stamp it in like this to get it where I want it to be so we're not doing too bad it's just right here I have a little bit of like patchiness because I can't seem to blend it right there for some crazy reason all right so now from there the pink remember the colors on there I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this dark pink right here this shade and I'm gonna try and keep it on the outer corner right here I'm just gonna try and dab it in on the outer corner uh, just like that um okay so not too shabby not too shabby it's just a really big thing to have on the eye so it's kind of hard to see if I'm getting it or if I'm not getting it so I'm going to switch sides real quick just to extra blend it out. And I think that's the best. So, oh well. Now I'm going to try and do my under eye. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to actually keep it nice. This one, Chaser, right here. This like orangey shade. And I'm going to try and put it underneath my eye. And I'm going to try and keep it. Okay, this works not too bad. Yeah, not that bad. Okay. I think I might have um found a new under eye invention. I don't know why it kind of got the under eye way better underneath than what I do with the brush with the beauty blender. Okay, kind of dab it right here to mix it in. I'm gonna take off a little bit of that excess right there. That is that right there. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm not gonna get too nutty. Um, I didn't wanna do bowl, I didn't wanna do a nude or anything like that, so I think I did pretty good. Uh, now I just need my inner corner highlight and I'm gonna go in with, uh, back in with the Chrome, the Master Chrome this beautiful freaking highlighter 
I swear. I'm gonna get very little, just a tiny, tiny ass little dab right there and pluck it in my inner corner just like that and just kind of blend it a little bit. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. Just kind of get in there. Not that bad. I'm gonna try and get it over here like I always do. Okay, that was way too much. Oh my god. Okay, well, look how much I got right there. Well, screw it. Put it over here to kind of make it even. Why not, right? Why not? Can never go wrong with too much highlight. And I'm gonna try and get just my brow bone, just kind of very little, like I always do. Um, just kind of drag it a bit like that. I might have, I feel like I messed up, but it, it didn't come out too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna take off some of the excess highlight because um, we're not gonna do uh, eyeliner because that's impossible. I can do maybe like with some black, but I kinda like bold, it's very, I like eyeliner, but I don't like eyeliner all the time. So that's that. Uh, mascara we said we were gonna do full face so I wasn't kidding when I said full face using the beauty blender now we're gonna go in with this by rude cosmetics if you all have never heard of rude cosmetics you guys are really missing out they have such great products I've been using their products this was sent to me and I think it's pretty cool it's pretty inventive it kind of oozes out you see how it's like oozing so this is perfect. I know I'm gonna mess this up and I still have um, the lipstick to do. So that might go a little haywire. So I have the mascara and now I'm gonna try and get it on my lashes to the best of my abilities. So I'm just gonna put it on and this part we're gonna speed it up a bit. Right, so that is the mascara um I managed to get some on the bottom it's actually not that bad now I wasn't gonna clean it off but there's like zero way that I can put the lipstick on using the beauty blender with that amount of mascara on it so I'm just gonna drag it in here just kind of remove some of the product just so I don't end up with um with black just because it would mess everything up. So I took off as much as I could. And now we're gonna do the lip. I am gonna keep you zoomed in to my lips. So I'm gonna use the, oh, oh and I just pulled this off the shelf, too. It, this is my lip slut. So I'm gonna show y'all this part. Now, due to the fact that on my Instagram when I posted this, I did post a warning. I don't want to post a warning here, but this is the Trump one. If you all have not seen it, Google um, Lip Slut and you'll see it. It's a big thing. I just don't want to get like in trouble here or whatever. So I'm just going to grab the product and throw it on this corner that's not black with mascara. So I'm going to try and keep it, try and apply it. So we're gonna, okay, not too bad. Uh, okay, uh, it's kind of hard to get. My Cupid's bow, it's kind of hard to get color because it's soaking into the beauty blender like hardcore soaking into the beauty blender um so mm, this might be let's try switching sides and putting it on this side i'm definitely gonna have to wash this thing because it looks hellacious
of messed up right here. I'm not trying to fix it. I think I had, can't really get up here into the little like my cubicle. Um, I think I think that's the best we're gonna get. Um, all right, this is actually the finished look. Let me go ahead and pull y'all out, and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is the final look. Um. Looking in the mirror right here, it doesn't look too bad. The only thing that does look a little crazy is the blending out right here on my forehead. As you can see, it didn't blend out 100%, but it looks a little muddy. Just because my foundation and the contour was just kind of blended in a little oddly. But other than that, um, I don't think I did a bad job. I think I did pretty good for using a beauty blender for literally everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is end the video here because I don't want it to be too long and I'm going to show the final images at the end or a video. I don't know. We'll see how I feel by the time I shut this off. All right, my queens, that is the full face using a beauty blender. This looks like I need to light it on fire, throw it in boiling water, and then just buy a new one. <laughs> it looks crazy. Um... So that's the challenge of a full face using only one big beauty blender. Comment down below what you thought of this challenge. It would be really awesome if you all would try this challenge and then tag me either Twitter or um, Instagram and I'll check it out. Uh, let's make this an even, I know a lot of people have already done this, but this is for me and my followers and my royal family, my queens. So let's try it out. All right, my queens, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all later. Bye, my queens.